Hey, good morning. Welcome to a very special episode of the Barbershop Duet. Today we look at Never Alone 3. It's a beautiful morning with the Barbershop Duet. Hi, I'm Marcus Klinger with Klinger Vocal Studio. And I'm Sarah Vincent with Sarah Vincent Virtual Pilates. But on Wednesdays and Saturdays... We are the Barbershop Duet. Today, we have a very special collaboration. In an annual tradition, this year, Jason's The Razor Company is partnering with Ariana and Evans... Ken, The Vintage Head Shaver... J. Mac, Justin The Dawn, The Red Island Shaver... Alisworth Razors... And AKA Brushworks to present Never, Never Alone, Alone 3. 3. This limited run of products were all created and donated to benefit suicide prevention and awareness in the United States and Canada, as well as mental health in general. The Canadian and new United States mental health lifelines are on the label. This soap goes live now, <laughs> this exact moment, 10 a.m. Eastern on Saturday, September 9th, 2023. And we would like to thank Jason Crystal and everyone at the Razor Company for overnighting ours to us a day early, making this review possible. All of the proceeds of this soap will go to these wonderful causes, and we are honored to be a part of it on this release day. Let's, Let's meet, meet the, the soap! soap. While this is a limited release, we are covering it for a special reason. This graphic. This graphic means something. In the months and years to come, this graphic will appear in Shades of the Day, in reviews, on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube. And when it does, it's a message. It's intentional. It means that the person or people who posted that image are there for you, whether they know you or not. Maybe they've been in a hard place, and maybe they know the way out. It's an invitation to say hello, to reach out, to make a friend. It's a way for those in the shaving community to say we're here and we understand. So today in Messages, we're going to tell you how we, the newbies, found our way and are finding our way into this beautiful community. And in today's video, we're going to celebrate this magnificent new soap. We're going to cross our fingers for a great new scent. And we're going to be joyful for all those who made it possible. We're going to have our normal good time and offer some company and hopefully a few laughs. And to thank you, our amazing viewers and commenters, for making us feel like we are never alone. Let's unbox this thing. <laughs> We feel so special because for this episode to air at the moment the soap releases, Jason Crystal and the Razor Company had to overnight this to the West Coast as the second they got it in hand. And as far as we know, it's the only one in California and we could not feel more special or honored or be more grateful. And it arrived at my parents' house safely and my dad drove it over as yeah, quickly as he could. Yeah, sped it over with a police escort. It <laughs> to was, get it, it to you. So. so let's unbox this. Yes, and please. I just have to mention, do you see the Never Alone 3 tape? Just like we said about how this image is important for months and years to come. And, and there is also oh. a Never Alone and a Never Alone 2. Yes, so and we're going to put those on the screen logos. Now. These yeah. are the previous releases in the Never Alone series. And we are catching on for number yeah. three. <laughs> so I, I, I hope I got one. I ordered a set. There we go. Oh. You can already see the blue popping so, out. So, <laughs> yeah, Crystal did a live yesterday where she talked about some of the goodies that come along with your soap. I forgot, right? Ooh, look at this. Oh, oh we each get one. Let's start. Oh, oh my you? gosh, how sweet. They gave us each one. Let's mm -hmm. open these Thank you, first. guys. <laughs> this is our Christmas right here. This, this is, is so cool. This is way better. Okay, let's see. So it comes with these bracelets, and they say never alone. And then flip it inside out. And on the out. back, oh, wait, on the back, it has the razor company. And then on the inside... It has the lifelines. So they'll be with you whenever you need them. It has the phone numbers. Yeah. So cool. Clearly oh, this is awesome. Mine on yeah. Perfect. And then our sticker, which we are going to put on the set right now, and it's always going to be here somewhere so you can see it. What else did you get? The other can go on our shaved den locker. Yeah. So we have constant reminders. Got a big sticker, a little sticker. Oh, and a little air freshener. Oh, and an air freshener for the car. I love it. I wonder Aww. if this is the same scent as you know, the soap. The normal little goodies, I think. And oh, stickers. and a big sticker. Here's yeah. Oh, I love wow. it. Wow. Okay. All right. Let's see what else is in here. Wow. 
Whoa, popcorn everywhere. <laughs> Look at that. I'm this pretty is sure the, that means it's the Ultima, this right? This is the Ultima box for Ariana and Evans, okay. their new base. And then keep digging. That's here we go. Soap. Oh, here it is. Popcorn everywhere. <laughs> wow. I, I asked Jason what size the splash is. I mean, he said five ounces. I thought, wow, that is a <laughs> giant splash. How cool. Well, Let's that's see. Hmm. This that might just like... have to live on the set. I don't know. No. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, this is spectacular. Look at that. Oh, it's heavy in my hand. Ooh, you can hear Look it. Glug, glug, glug. Wow. And of course, oh. Ariana and Evans has its pre wrapped oh, inside. The re wrap. I love the re wrap. <laughs> okay, ready? Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. You've seen the pictures go by, but it's real, I swear. <laughs> It's just beautiful. Even the graphics online don't even really do it justice. Yes. Oh, and the pictures! Look at their faces on oh, the side there, label. There you go. See, we'll oh, be able to I tag love everyone. That. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. We love Aww, the side awesome. label. It's a four ounce pour. Okay. Oh, from coast to coast in 24 hours. Let's have our first <laughs> impression. <laughs> I'm going to put my bracelet on before yeah, I do my first twinsies. impression here. Yeah, <laughs> perfect friends. There we go. Yeah, this is so cool. Ooh, I'm excited. So this does not have any particular, like, scent. It doesn't no. come with, like, this is a beach. It's not an homage. It's just anything. its own. No, this is yeah. just its own thing. We do have some scent notes, but we just wanted to experience we'll first. it first. We'll see what we can <laughs> maybe recognize. Ooh, okay, you go first. Go. I'm excited. I think you should smell it first. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay, only because you said so. Oh, wow. It's yeah. really refreshing. Yeah? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah? I'm excited. Here we okay. go. <laughs> oh. I don't know if I can pick too many scent notes oh, out, which is kind of fun. It's different. different. Yes, it, it is. is. It's delightfully different. This is our fourth Ariana and Evan it soap. It is. So we're really getting a sense of the artisan. But it's kind of, oh. it's kind of, it's not a set season or a set wow. category, I would say. No, no, I don't which get any particular nice. season from it. Now, it's, I don't get like a barbershop experience mm -hmm. from this, not a barbershop. And I don't want to say floral, but there are something fruity and floral yes, in there. Yes, it's a beautiful mix of sweet, a little bit fruity, a little but bit floral. It's, you know. But it's not overwhelming sweet. No, no, no. But the intention of it is kind of cool. It does have an uplifting oh, vibe. Yes. And I, I even get like a little bit of a hint of like sweet rocks. Does right. that make I, I sense? I wasn't going to say, yeah, cool. it's not spicy. It's not darker. It's definitely a lighter, brighter. No, and it's definitely soft and beautiful, but it's masculine. I right. like that. Yes. It's got the masculine vibe. It's a little bit vintage. It's a little bit modern. Right, I yes. like that too. There's something new in here that we haven't had in other scents in, you're before. Right. You're and I don't absolutely know. absolutely right. Maybe that's the, the bright and sweetness. It's something on the very top. It's yeah. almost as if my brain was like expecting a rose, but it's not a no, rose. No, it's not. It is and not. And I don't think it's floral. I think it's something else that's sweet that maybe kind of borders on right. floral a little bit. Ooh, you know what? Let's make a lather, they said. <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful, soft soap. This is the first time I'll be shaving with an Ultima base. Ooh. And I'm excited. And since we're filming the same day, you got to do a sniff and a uh, shave did, today. Yeah, did you notice I let my beard grow just a little bit <laughs> a little, so that I could, do the, uh, I could do the how it shaves <laughs> part of our video today? All right, let's see here. A little water on the brush. I just got that you did Woody and Buzz, but the song, You've Got a Friend to Me. It's oh, kind of that was kind too. of a coincidence. But yeah, this is the, the Toy Story song, right? You've got a friend in me? Yeah, kind of that fitting. That seems fitting for mm -hmm. our Never Alone Day, right? Right. I wasn't sure if that was on purpose, Doesn't but I'll take it. Oh, it's just waking up here. This so, is I don't know if we showed the stuff. pour for those of you who like seeing the pour. Yes, there you right. go. It's very official. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. This is doing some awesome things now. Yeah, is it? Oh, yeah. And Peter's the artist in it, Ariana and Evans, mm -hmm. and he is a perfumer extraordinaire. He designs all of their scents. And, and everyone that was involved in it isn't taking a penny. They're all putting all the money towards... It's all donated, y'all. So, so don't use affiliate links. Don't use discount codes when you go to buy the this money, one yeah. because the, the money is going somewhere super important for this mm -hmm. one. All right, let's see. Oh, y'all, it's got its character oh. all came together now. Yes. Okay, so when I smelled it out of the tub, I felt like there was two tiers. Now there's three. Yes, for sure. Now we've got our, our top notes, our medium right? notes, our bottom notes. So my top notes, I'm getting some floral, but I'm also getting, you're right, I think there's a fruitiness Something in here. Bright. Well, I was going to say the middle is a little more fruity citrusy. 
And then there's like a musky. Yeah, not musk, this doesn't hit you. Powdery, yeah. this musky, d- I don't know. Right, Talky? it's not powder, but it's something <laughs> soft like that. And it's not the fruit or the flowers that hits you first. What is that? I, I kind of wanted to say sweet rocks almost, but like... Okay, before we look at the scent notes and totally cheat, <laughs> see if you do put some of this on, if that yeah, gives us a hint. Because I know that's that the more pure, bit. you know, sometimes they talk about wow. being a more pure. This is still like hot off the stove. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't had that bottle yet. We... No, this is a handsome, handsome bottle. Pretty classy y'all. here. Ooh, okay, let's see. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. I am immediately <laughs> going to. I forgot to shake it, but that's okay. They'll forgive they'll, me. They'll forgive you. We were too excited. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. There's almost like a honey side. Yes. To it. Maybe that's what. Maybe it's a little bit of almost a honey sweetness. It's a supernatural. It's natural sweet. Slightly I don't dull know. sweetness, and it's just magnificent. You know, there there may be. I don't want to say like a dark wood, but there's like a lighter wood. Yeah. You know what? I don't think we should keep screwing around. Let's take a look at these scent notes. <laughs> So, as of a couple of days ago, <laughs> we have the set notes for this magnificent fragrance. Let's take a look. What do you got? Okay. Bergamot. Yep. That's Called the it. middle. I yeah. said citrus. There mm-hmm. we go. Okay. Here we and go. Passion we fruit. Said, we said fruity. And one that we didn't know. Yes. I don't think that's been in one before. Oh, and check this out, y'all. Passion fruit and guava oh, and mango and peach. Boy, were you okay. right when you so said fruity. Those four, I used oh. to get a drink. I don't remember who it was from. And it was my favorite drink I'd beg my mom to get. Don't get drinks from people you don't know who they're from. <laughs> but those four were in it. And they were like my favorite thing. I wanted it all year. Okay. That's, Anyways, oh. And, but here's the cool thing. Here's the cool thing. If you think this opens like a pina colada, get that out of your head. No, 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 This no. doesn't like hit you with fruity. This uses no. those fruits to make something sophisticated, it does. y'all. And you can't Ooh. pull them apart, which I like. And sort of cologne Or am I losing it? They, it's like the fruitiness is beautiful in this aftershave. Because it's not like prominent yeah, but, as fruit. It just no, uses the their, honey, their subtle there's fruitiness. There's something else in there like, that, yeah, it does colony it up but it's not you know but it, it's still i don't know okay let's keep reading yeah, clearly okay. so huh. those are the fruits oh i love that but they're you're right there's a muskiness on here yeah. too let's see if we can find it okay mandarin uh, that uh, goes that's, with see, the but fruit not bowl. the in your right. face citrus and i oh. i knew that okay. and then here come this the 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 florals ready right. lily of the valley yep jasmine, jasmine. Iris. So we were doing a little research on like vintage aftershaves. Right. And these were like at the very beginning, the flowers that were definitively yes. known as the masculine ones. So that is super cool how those mix with had the, the fruits in here. This other one, Oris Root. Or, or, Oris Root. I, or, I was Oris trying to say root. a woody something, but maybe that's what we're Oris smelling. Root. Oak Moss. Oak Moss. See, there is musk. We were right. And... Yeah, your nose, her nose is not bad. It's getting there for a <laughs> I newbie. I think I said it, or I thought it. Okay, and then Himalayan, Himalayan cedar. cedar. So not just cedar. But it Himalayan is, it's that cedar. lighter wood. It's yeah. not a dark wood. Right, right. Haitian vetiver <sighs> and sandalwood. Wow. Man, yeah, this, is, a this thing. is coming to life. I'm starting to get more and more things in this even. I don't know how they can make a floral scent be Beautiful. masculine, but it really kind of is. Beautiful. And you know what? Like the fruits come along. It's, I do, now that I've read that, and I really smell this and sort of look for these, I get a fantastic mix at the beginning of the lighter part of the florals and the hearty part of the fruits. Mm-hmm. So I don't smell the top parts of the fruits and I don't smell the bottom parts of the flowers. That's really cool. And then the cedar and the vetiver and the sandalwood are there to just ground it all together. Wow, it oh. does. It smells different here. It's And it's funny to yeah. have a citrusy thing, but it not be grapefruit and it not be like orange right. or lime, like this pick out the lemon to it. Right. And somehow it makes it bright but refreshing. Yeah. And I know that Peter is an awesome perfumer so mm-hmm. i know this definitely has like the perfect balance of a nice cologne right? in it but i like that it doesn't have like a cologne hit no but if you were to smell that on someone you'd be immediately welcomed and you'd feel like you were joining something fun yeah and you know just like the life of the party there's it's this not in your co- face yeah there's this kind of cool phenomenon that i've noticed with some people who just smell good think of somebody who just smells good right it's not their cologne. It's generally like 
something in their laundry detergent mixed with something in their hair, mixed with like something their in natural, their deodorant, like mixed odor, with something in I, yeah. Right. It's just like this their beautiful aura. mix of things to make like a perfect put together. Somebody smells great smell. And they have done that in this. Right. It's someone you want to hang out with. You you know, you yes. just immediately feel comfortable in their presence. And I get beautiful whiter colors, like beautiful beiges, <sighs> peaches colors, yeah. and like white colors. I, I'm sure it's intentional clearly with the theme, but if we didn't know the theme, and you smelled that, you would immediately get that right, from it. Right. And the one cool. word that jumps out is just clean. It's mm-hmm. a clean, put together, beautiful. But it's smell. not forced. It's not mm-hmm. like you're nope. trying to like overpower and be extra. No, it's just a beautiful, gentle hug. I gotta yeah. love that. You know, there is still some picture that my brain is trying to show me to put this all together. I think we might have to go a little bit deeper. It's a little bit aquatic. It is, a little. Yeah, and, and you know, for me, what my brain keeps showing me, forgive me, but it's almost like when I'm on vacation and I walk into a new place that's like really super ritzy and like this is the kind of smell that I would expect. Right. So I kind of see like an open air hotel lobby. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out how to translate this into a little bit better English. And it's almost <laughs> like they took these fruits, the passion fruit, the bergamot, the guava, the mango, the peach, the mandarin. They put them together and they took out the parts that were darker and fruitier and they left the parts of those set notes that are clean. Yeah. And they put those parts together because I don't smell like a candied fruit kind of smell mm-hmm. here. I smell a clean fruit smell, which is, and I think that's the part that's new for us. When we have fruit smells, they're fruit smells. It's lime. It's, you know, right. it's something like that. But this, this is the clean parts of the fruits that all come together and then when that clean is dirtied up with the musk and the cedar and the vetiver y'all that's where this gets pulled apart and that part is just beguiling i can't get enough it's of funny it. you know like when you walk into some place and it's like wow this is the perfect weather the perfect temperature yes i don't know how you can do that with scents but it is it's like out of each of those scents it's like their most bright moment right. or something and that's what's combined together right so it's not like you're gonna smell like the heart of the mango the heart of the peach the heart mm-hmm. of the guava you're smelling the clean parts of all those fruits put together somehow. And I know it's just masterful. This is kind of a different image, but when you're editing music and oh. you take out the funky sounds and somehow, you know, yeah, like when you're editing, I don't remember that's what that's true. called. But there is a part of music editing where you can go take out the little frequencies that are just a little bit disturbing, right? So it's almost like when they put all the fruits together, they took out their pulpiness right. and they left their cleanness behind and all. Oh, that is then pulled against by the darker notes. It's just fantastic. Well, and it's kind of fun because I know they have a Never Alone and a Never Alone 2, and they have different smells. So everyone was kind of curious what right, sense what they would take on like. for this one. So we don't know the other ones, but obviously we're enjoying right. this so, one. So the best we can tell you, super, super clean <laughs> notes of these fruits. And the real fruits, not the mm-hmm. scratch and sniff sticker versions, but the real fruits, the clean parts of those. And then those are mixed with the earthier parts of the cedar and the right. vetiver and the sandalwood, but not so much that they like invade you as wood because the musk is what takes over as the grounding part. And I, I think, really right? like that this can be considered masculine and it doesn't have the expectation oh. of tobacco or right. the darker heavy right. scents. Yes. Like those are gone. Yeah, so it's, it's I the do lighter, like, cleaner part of the masculine smell. I, 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 yeah, like I wasn't sure too. if that was intentional, but you know, your mind when you've been shown the male female thing, you yeah, kind of expect that. Yes. And I like being thrown that this isn't it's like a new brighter side and this does have a tiny bit of a green note for me that keeps it masculine yes i know i usually say does this work for the ladies but i I think this this is more of a masculine smell yeah i I don't know if it's the himalayan himalayan cedar the oak moss the musk layers or whatever that orris root is but there is something that kind of combines with the vetiver and the sandalwood and the beautiful parts of those woods are there y'all remember when you were in the third grade and you just sharpened your pencil that cedar smell (laughs) but if that's in i mean if I were to smell this on a man, yeah. just on, you know, by these notes. Yeah. Uh, I just put it on. She goes, if I were to smell this on a man. I didn't finish my sentence. Uh, walking by, I would automatically myself 
feel like that they have a happier spirit or aura or yeah. something like about yep. them is uplifting. I mean, in, in keeping with the label, it takes you to a light place. It really does. It, it's so cool. It's beautiful. It's friendly. It's playful. You can't have that fruit salad going on in here without it being super playful. There's a lot of beautiful fruit smells in this. All right, so what time is it? We planned this episode to launch the same moment as the soap. So if you want your best chance at getting one, head over to the Razor Company right now. Put us on pause. That's right. Just Stop our it. video. Come back Put later. us on pause. Go over to therazorcompany.com and get, get your own. So head over to the Razor Company and pick up your set of Never Alone 3. I've had my shave, and I'm in my robe at 2.45 in the afternoon, and I could not be more grateful. This was my first Ultima Base experience, and it was delightful. I decided to start by starting with a little less water than I thought I would need, and leave it a little bit more on, like, the pasty side. And man, did it take two and a half days of growth off my face like a cat giving kisses. It was really cool. And then I put the right amount of water in, and it just yogurted up and got super fun. Gave me a couple of coats real easy with the lather brush, and the rest just melted off. As far as the set goes, now you should listen to me because I've had minutes and minutes to spend with it. Uh, it's an amazing scent. And Peter and, and everyone who worked on this, you really did a great, beautifully crafted job. Because every fantastic scent for me has a magical part and a normal part. And what this did is this took that magical fruit salad I was talking about of those eight fruit notes... And it pulled what was magical out of the center of each fruit to the point where you may not even recognize the fruit if you just smell that magical heart of it alone. And then it did the exact same thing with the flowers. And it put all of those magical parts together. It's just a masterful soap and you can smell how gentle and strong it is. It's somehow a very apt label and a very magnificent cause. It's very personal to me, and uh, as well as I think most of us. But Jason, uh, thank you. Thank you for letting us be a part of this and making sure we had this in time to drop this episode. Welcome to Messages. Well, I'm thinking about wet shaving. I could use a supportive community. I wonder, how do I find all of these fine folks? Well, welcome to our newbies <laughs> guy. It's pretty easy. There are lots of fun edited videos here on YouTube, but the hangouts and activity are over on Instagram, Facebook, and the Discord. Yeah. Head over to Instagram and follow, for example, The Razor Company, who helps create this soap, and then jump on some of their lives. Follow some more of the shavers, follow the artisans, and they'll lead you over to the Discord. Check out the Shave Dad Facebook group, where Jerry runs a tight and kind ship. Perfect for those just entering the hobby as well as seasoned veterans. You'll find us there, too. Please reach out and say hi, even in our comments here. And as far as soap goes, no purchase necessary. If you need a soap to try or talk about, reach out here. We'll send you some from our samples to help you get started. It's an extraordinary community, and we look forward to seeing you there. We all have a story. We all know someone, loved someone, who should still be here. We have already made friends in this shaving community who credit it with saving their lives. Reaching out is the hardest part. Some of us were never taught exactly how to reach out. That's why Jason's Razor Company, Ariana and Evans, Ken, the Vintage Head Shaver, J-Mac, the Dawn, the Red Island Shaver, Aliceworth Razors, and AKA Brushworks have all come together to show you this label and remind you that they're there. We're here. This community is here. Say hi. Join alive. Join a conversation. We want you here. And those who post this label month after month, year after year, who offer their hand, who are actively there for us and our community, we see you and we are grateful for you every day. This community found us when we really needed them too. And we will forever be grateful for your being here. There are so many reasons to be here. 
For example, you have an appointment this week with the barbershop duet. Because you're never alone.